Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit that subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. Now, if somebody mentions to you the word Space Force, really, what do you think? What, what, what thoughts go through your mind when you think of a Space Force? Do you think of Star Wars or Star Trek or, heck, even fun of your space balls? Because those are the things that run through my head when people start talking about a space force. Now, you got a lot of people on the left saying that Trump's idea for a space force is just a terrible idea. And, that, and they make valid points. They make very valid points. One, we already have NASA. And from what I have read, the Air Force does things involving space as well. Therefore, there's really no need between the Air Force and NASA... There's no need for a particular new branch of the military that is already overbloated as it is. There are millions of people that could be fed with the money that will be used to create the Space Force. Now, I find it kind of cool. I think it's an interesting idea. I think it's something that's going to need to be done at some point. You know, all in all, my thought is, you know, is beam me up. I'm ready. I, 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 that sounds like fun to me. But the problem is, this is absolutely serious. This isn't about fun. Mike Pence, when he announced it the other day, back on um, the 9th, you know, when he actually went talked about how they were actually going to start putting it together, said it was over, it had to do with American dominance in space claiming that our adversaries were already getting, you know, we're starting to, you know, attack our supremacy in space. But are they? Are they doing that in a military fashion? Besides Russia, the Chinese and a few others are very lucky if they get a satellite into space much less a military object in space. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's a, an adversary right now putting nuclear missiles in, in space. The only person, only com on the country I can think of that would have that capability at all would be Russia. Kind of weird, isn't it? How cozy and lovey-dovey the Trump administration is with Russia. Yet, they're concerned about our adversaries. Putting, you know, weaponizing the, you know, space. Now, like I said, it's not something I completely am against. But I don't think it's something we need at this moment. I think it's something we could consider, we can talk about. I definitely don't think we need it by 2020. I don't think it's going to be required. I believe we should be putting forth more research and more study into things like that and what we're going to actually what we're going to actually do for this space force. As the nerd I am, it's really hard for me to sit here and completely hate the idea. But I think we have to balance it with reality. We have a military our gov where we are, our government already spends over a trillion dollars a year almost in taxpayer money. And that is not to give you know increases in pay half the time to our military. But that's just for more, more weapons, more hardware. And what they pay, whatever the you know, cost of living increase... That the military occasionally gets. But like I said, I think it's a, a great idea. It's something that needs to be done at some point. I, I think it's really a, a very important idea that needs to be talked about. But I think you've got to be more, you've got to put more into it. He wants it by 2020. Or they're talking about putting it out and you know, having it formed by 2020. How? You have no clue what that's going to entail, Mr. Trump. For Mr. Pence. Just this random, the last few months, oh, all of a sudden there's a Space Force. 
I think it's, like I said, I think it's a brilliant idea. I think it's great. But I think it's a little far-fetched. I mean, what are they going to entail in this Space Force? Are we going to put some kind of floating military base in outer space? Don't they have a hard enough time when they bring astronauts back because of lost bone density and other health elements? Just from the space station? When they're there for an extended period of time? I believe the answer is yes. They haven't. NASA hasn't solved that as of yet. So we're all of a sudden we're going to solve it in two years? And all of a sudden these people are going to be perfectly healthy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe that's the case. I think there needs to be a lot of study and a lot of research done before we go sending these people into space. I want to I want to see an actual plan, step by step, exactly what they want to do, what the end goal is. I don't want just some open ended thing where we're shelling trillions of dollars into it with no idea where it's going. The federal government wasted a lot of a lot of money, and they wasted enough money as it is. So my thought is, we should do something. We we should do it, but it should take time. We should take our time to study and research what exactly we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and how we can succeed. Not just I want I want to do something cool to just you know to distract people. But actually do something. Presidents have a history of this in this country. Where they give you an idea. Just so they so you won't think about what's actually going on. But. Really. I just don't think now is the exact time. I don't think we can get it done in two years. In a successful manner. Especially with a president who thought health care was too, too difficult. As he said, who knew healthcare could be so difficult? What's he going to say in, in 2020? Oh, I didn't realize space could be so difficult. Anyhow, this has been the Big Ranch Show. I've been your host, Jacob Keck, and I'll see you down the road.